time I've ever driven a car before. I really wish you'd mention that. Yeah. Yeah. We love you, Blue Shirt Guy. Thank you. Watch out for the. They seem nice. Free Guy. Free Guy is about a bank teller who discovers that he's a background player in an open world video game and decides to be the hero of his own story. So, first and foremost, I'm a Ryan Riddles fan and I will not let that color my opinion of this movie. That being said, Free Guy was a breath of fresh air from the onslaught of superhero films. Don't be mistaken that this is a video game film or that it's an homage to video games. If you go into it thinking that, then you'll be greatly disappointed. This film is about so much more than open world video games. Without spoiling the film, just keep that in mind. The film explores several themes through characters and their situations that will both touch your heart and give you something to think about. We'll discuss this more when we get to the more spoilery parts of the review. I really enjoyed Ryan Reynolds' character Guy. He's naive, funny, determined, and a little quirky. He had great chemistry with the supporting character Molotov Girl played by Jodie Comer. Guy is love-struck over Molotov Girl and she's totally oblivious because she's solely focused on her mission. Ryan Reynolds has great chemistry with everyone he works with. I don't think that that's a bad thing. It makes him easy to work with and a great love interest for any film genre. His facial expressions and naive behavior were an absolute riot and made me laugh every time I saw them. Lil Rail Howery was a great best friend to Guy and a great character to have in this movie. The only thing that I didn't like were two things. One is why they constantly had Rail's character screaming or being over the top of his gestures. And the other thing was a scene where he was groping man pecs and it looked very reminiscent of Will Smith in Wild Wild West. It was very awkward to watch and made me wonder why the scene was even in the film to begin with. Why do they do that to black guys in movies? They always have them wearing dresses or doing humiliating things for comedy. Or is it something more? Well, that's a discussion and a deeper dive for another day. I love how the world of Free City had warm, oversaturated tones, and when we saw the real world, it was full of muddy, desaturated tones as much as possible. The action is on point for the genre and sometimes a little silly for humor, but fun and action packed. There were also a few cameos from celebrities that were cool to see. Let me know on YouTube in the comments if you spotted all the cameos, and if you're listening on the podcast, shoot me an email of all the cameos that you spotted. Now, we're coming to a spoiler territory. If you don't want to get spoiled about Free Guy, leave now or forever hold your peace. Free Guy is about more than just video game culture and open world video games. It's about what is artificial life. It's about how desensitized gamers are to video game violence and how dispensable non-playable characters are in those open world games. How gamers treat characters that they deem unimportant, not real, and part of an environment that enhances a game. I feel this because once those NPCs started to become aware and went on strike, the real world players noticed how awkward the game was, lifeless, and weird it was to play without those NPCs. Free Guy is also about how startup companies have their ideas, technology, or IP stolen and placed into other games. Many times those atrocities happen and go unnoticed by the public and never see the light of a courtroom. It can also be said that this film is about how life simulated games and zero player games can be just as popular as MMORPG violent games. A lot of statements in such a fun and action packed film. I give Free Guy a solid 9 out of 10. I would recommend this film to anyone who loves action, video games, and a good story. If you go into this with the right mindset, you won't be disappointed. So here is my piece on Free Guy. Feel free to listen to the podcast slash watch along of Free Guy with Carlin and OG to see what they think. Until next time, see you soon. Hey, 